This is the homework for lesson 15. It's module 4 of grade 3. Please write your name here. Use a ruler to measure the side lengths of each numbered room in centimeters. Then find the area. Use the measurements below to match and label the rooms with the correct areas. So let me zoom out for a little bit so we can see the whole page. So we've got six rooms and we've got to figure out the kitchen. For example, the kitchen is 45 square centimeters. So we measure all of these rectangles and we figure out which one of them, which room is has an area of 45 square centimeters and that one's the kitchen. And then one of these will have 30, one of these rectangles will have 34 square centimeters and that one would be the porch and so on. So, um, there's two tricks to this. One is measuring with a ruler and using, we're using centimeters, not inches. So be careful of that. If your ruler has a zero line, a zero mark on it, then start at the zero. If it doesn't, then you're starting from the end of the ruler. And, uh, the other trick is getting a page that's printed out correctly. A lot of times, uh, the copy machines or the printers that, that are used to print out uh, homework pages don't have everything scaled uh, properly. If they don't print it at 100% or they'll if they scale the page at all to fit, they'll shrink it a little bit to give it better margins or room around the outside. And, uh, the, and they won't measure correctly. And you, you'll be stuck in fractions of centimeters in between and your numbers will be off when that happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to label all the side lengths to show. And I'm not going to demonstrate how to measure with a ruler. That's really for a different module and for other lessons. Uh, hopefully you can use a ruler. And uh, you'll find out that I'm, I'm just going to start labeling the side lengths so you'll see around here what the side lengths of the rectangles are now this one has this is four centimeters and this side is six centimeters for this room so the area here is 24 square centimeters uh, for Rectangle number two, this is nine centimeters by five centimeters. So the area is nine times five. It's 45 square centimeters. Uh, rectangle number three is eight centimeters on this side and this side here is seven centimeters so rectangle three is eight times seven for 56 square centimeters. Rectangle 5 is 9 centimeters here by 7 centimeters here. 9 times 7 63 square centimeters. Rectangle 6 has a side of 2 centimeters. And this long side here at the bottom is 17. So this is 17 times 2, which is 34 
square centimeters. Now this, uh, the way you figure out the 17 times 2, let's just add two 17s together. 17 plus 17. That's how you can figure it out. That's probably the easiest way to do it. You, or you could add it up in your head as two 10s and a 14. And then this long skinny one, number four, is one centimeter. And this whole long side here is 12. centimeters so it's 1 by 12 which is 12 square centimeters so let's zoom out for this whole thing um, the kitchen is 45 so that's number two this is the That's the kitchen. Um, the porch is 34, which is rectangle 6. This is the porch. The bathroom is 24 square centimeters, so that's rectangle 1. The living room is 63 square centimeters, so that's rectangle 5. And then the bedroom is 56 square centimeters, so that's rectangle 3. And the hallway is 12 square centimeters. So rectangle 4 is the hallway. And that kind of makes sense. The porch is at the front of the house. The hallway goes down the middle between the rooms. Uh, and, and we have the other four rooms.